I want to start off by giving all praises, honors, and glories due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles of the bishops and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. And I'd like to give a hearty peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect wherever you may be right that's starting with the believers the man women and children and also the fellow laborers the prophets and the teachers to you all i say shalom and may the blessing of election be upon you in your house so shalom to the elect um i guess the the title that i have for the lesson was modern day lots and the inspiration came from when I was watching the, uh, I'm not sure if he's an elder or not. I don't really understand how the dynamics work in other camps, but I believe it was the elder from Alabama, Elder Awarum, Awarum, right? And he made a quick lesson. Uh, I don't recall the title of the video. I don't recall the title of the video, but I know what, what was in that, that video, and it was talking about how um, righteous, you know, the, the righteous are essentially waiting, right, for the downfall of, of this kingdom, right, Babylon the Great, the downfall of our captivity, okay, and a few scriptures came to mind, and also a title for a lesson came to mind which is modern day lots because now we are standing in the the lot of lot right <laughs> we are standing in in, in in his stead okay we are essentially the modern day lots we are the only ones who are vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked okay with the filthy deeds the acts and the laws that go forth you know that's in Isaiah 10 right Wants in that prescribe of grievousness, which he has prescribed. You know these laws that goes against the laws of the heavenly Father. Okay, so the first scripture I want to get is Ecclesiastes seven, uh, verse eight. It says, "The end of a thing is better than its beginning." Right, the end of a thing, and we are coming into the end, right, of our captivity. Is better than its beginning because prior to us being in captivity we had something going for ourselves you know everything was in order okay before Israel's downfall even going back to the time of right you had King Solomon okay when he was ruling King David okay everything was in order okay but when we went into captivity, you know, the beginning of our downfall, that's when everything spiraled out, out of control. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit, you know, and it requires patience, okay? A sincere patience to wait or to suffer for the end of this kingdom, to, to suffer, right, for the end of Babylon. It, it it requires patience and many men right had made irrational decisions because of their lack of patience let's go to Luke 21 I wanted to get this scripture later but I'm going to go ahead and jump the gun uh, this is Luke 21 verse 19 and it says in your patience possess ye your souls now I want to look up the word possess uh, Tile my oh, let me check something where there is Tile my Strong's G twenty nine thirty two Katal my Katal my and it says to acquire get right procure a thing to obtain to provide to purchase 
So our patience really obtains our soul. It it upholds us, okay? Because if it wasn't for the characteristic of you know that that characteristic of being patient, okay, our souls would have erred from the faith. You know, you would have lost patience, lost the faith, went back into the world, right? You became one of those scoffers that says, "Where is the promise of thy coming?" Right? Since all things were as they were, right? Everything continued uh, as as it were, being an adult, one of those scoffers. Okay. Let's go to Second Peter two verse seven, and it says, "Well, let me start at verse." Six and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. And this is the uh, the chapter that the brother went into, right? And when you got to verse seven, you know that's when I started thinking about scripture. Scriptures will come into my mind, making them an example unto those that after should what should live ungodly. Okay. And Bab or Sodom and Gomorrah, right, has been the pillar uh, or the height of what it takes for an empire to be overthrown by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by nuclear, or let me not say, by fire, okay? Because back then, the Lord used sulfur, okay? Uh, sulfur and, and, and rain down fire from heaven, okay? And in that same manner, the Lord is going to use a higher, uh, a higher level of destruction, right? That that technology, the technology that Esau created, which came from the heavens, to destroy him, and destroy everything that he has uh, ever made, and all these nations, right? When they see the destruction of America, as it says in Revelation, they're going to be um, upset. But not only that, but they're going to be in fear. Because this this destruction will serve as a reminder to all the other nations who dare ever to live up to the height of wickedness that America had. Let's go to Malachi 3, verse uh, 15. Let me start at verse 16. It says, Then they that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shai spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened, meaning he heard and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and them and that thought upon his name. So the men of the Lord, right, the modern day lots, the book of remem remembrance was written before us. Okay. And we pretty much remembered, right? Who we are as a people, pursuant to the scriptures, uh, Jeremiah 17, Thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. We remembered who we are as a people, okay? We remembered our nationality, we remembered who our power was, okay? And with that remembrance, we have now obtained a higher standard, a higher guideline, okay? And heard it in a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and that thought upon his name, okay? And thinking upon his name is bringing remembrance to it, right? And anything that you do, you give well, all praises to the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, Bashim, and the name Yahweh Shai. That, that's what it means to think upon the name of the Lord, to Zakar, to remember, to bring it in forth to remembrance. Not only his name, but the works, right? And the deeds, right, of Yahweh Yashai and what he does. You know, we remember these things as well, right? Uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, reading the scriptures, reading the uh, the past deliverances of our forefathers. These are things that we are called to remember. Let me go to Psalms, the 27th chapter, right? Uh, let me start at verse 11. Oh, let me go to verse 12. It says, Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. Okay? And we are asking the Lord that daily because our main enemy, right, adversary is Satan. And he works through a people. Okay? And the will of our enemies to what? To have us cut off. Right? Uh, you can read about that in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. So that the name of the Lord, right, 
so that the uh, the name of Israel will no longer be remembered. That's in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. <clears throat> For false witnesses are risen up against me, okay? And Esau, or the Edomites, they accuse us day and night, okay? And such as breathe out, uh, let me read that again. And such as breathe out cruelty, okay? I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord Yahabashim Yahashah. And we all had fainted at one point, right? Let me go ahead and get this scripture. Part of the curse. This is Deuteronomy 28, uh, verse 29. And it says, And thou shalt group at noonday as the blind group of the darkness and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no man shall save thee so we, at one point in time we were fainted you know we didn't have the breath of life we didn't have our our skin upon us right to cover up our bones i mean the skin represents our heritage us knowing who we are we didn't have any of those things and we were fainted right going through the shadow of death we were fainted we were dead but once the lord came to us and and we believed right because that's the main thing believing in the words of yahweh many men had the opportunity to hear the word right but their ears were uncircumcised unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord yahweh what in the land of the living okay and the land of the living is amongst the what Amongst the believers, because there's the land of the dead and then the land of the living. Okay, verse 14 wait on the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshai, and that's what's required of us. That's the hope for left. Be of good courage, right? To be courageous, right? The scripture says the righteous are as bold as a lion, and he shall what strengthen thy heart, thy mind. Kazak, wait. I say on the Lord Yahweh Shai, and that's one of the things that are commanded of us to wait, just like how Lot waited, right, for the Heavenly Father to perform His uh, His promise in delivering him, right, from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. We also have to wait on the Lord's promise to deliver us from the destruction of Babylon, the gate, uh, the great modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. <clears throat> Let me go to Psalms 37. Okay, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahshai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You know, bring everything to fruition. Let me just jump down to verse 6. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. Right? The light comes in, in what? The form of the word. And thy judgment as the noonday, because in the noonday, that's when the sun is at the highest peak, or people say that's when the uh, the day is at its brightest, the noonday, the afternoon, okay, right around 12. Rest in the Lord, Yahweh, and wait patiently up for him, right? Wait patiently, and patience possess your soul, it means to, to uh, 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 uproot you, right, to, to support and your patience, right, will support your soul. But once you lose that patience, okay, that's when your soul errs from the faith. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, right? Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, okay? And that's something that offends, you know, our people is that they see the uh, the wicked the Edomites prospering and they decide that if we can be like them maybe we too will prosper as well but they don't understand that they are held to a higher standard okay let's jump to verse 9 it says for evildoers shall be cut off right but those that wait upon the Lord Yahweh they shall inherit the earth right and this is a cut to those guys down there one body and satan for them saying that the evildoers right the pick the, the the wicked that the most high loves the wicked you know esau okay because it clearly tells you that the evildoers shall be cut off and there's no man who deserved that name more than the edomites the man of sin the people who who are uh, uh, are masters of wickedness okay for yet a little while 
right? For just a little moment, and the wicked shall not be, meaning he shall not be present, okay? This is a precept to Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, right? You're going to think about where he's supposed to be, and it shall not be. And this is really how the nations will be, because uh, after a few generations, you know, the generation that's seen the Edomites and the generations that are coming up, they're going to be in this position. They're going to say, where, where, where are the Edomites, you know? Where are the Edomites? And they can't find them, right? Because Obadiah 1 verse 18 came to pass. But the meek shall inherit the earth, right? The meek, which are who? The elect of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, the meek. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And we have, we are now delighting ourselves in the peace because Yahweh Shai has brought forth that peace between us and our power, the Heavenly Father. As the scripture says, no man can get unto the Heavenly Father except through me, right? There is one mediator through the Most High and man, and that's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So I'm going to go ahead and, and leave it at that. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. Right? Remember and consider Lot's place. We are now standing in the stead of Lot. And until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.